What's up, fellas? You are now tuned in to the Trick Lessons Podcast, and I'm your host, Mr. Tricks a Lot, the number one trick on the internet. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to this channel and hit the bell. And make sure that you share this video because brothers really need to hear this message. So if you guys are looking at the screen right now, you see a video with this chick. And I'm going to go ahead and play it and give my commentary after you guys. Okay? Laura Kelly. Governor. Lucas. Governor. Governors. President. Who the fuck ever y'all want to call? Number 45. All of y'all. I just want to know, bro. I'm so fucking stressed out because y'all got every fucking place closed and people can't fucking work and shit. I just want to know. I want to fucking know, bro. Place right here. The Kansas driver license place. How is this not essential, bro? How is this place not essential? Y'all know what? Y'all know what? Look. Look, y'all. I went to work. Look at that Orientation right for my new job, okay? Yes, see what? Look at Guess dude. fucking what, bro? Because I'm on the point of my breaking point. Like, the fucking government is so stupid to me. I'm just, I'm um, stressed out to the fucking max. Because I'm not rich like you motherfuckers, okay? I'm not rich like y'all. I just want to fucking know, bro. I can't go to work because my motherfucking stupid ass ID is fucking expired. This place is not considered essential at all. The driver's license place. But this motherfucking place over here with people full with fucking cars and shit, this is essential. Fast food is essential, but this place ain't. DCF ain't essential, but fast food is essential. The fuck? The courthouse ain't essential, but fast food is essential. I want to know how, bro. I can't even go visit the motherfucking doctor because they ain't essential. The fuck? They ain't taking new patients, but y'all can have Slim Chickens and, and fucking McDonald's open? How the fuck is that essential, bro? I can't go to work. Y'all won't give me no stimulus money. DCF ain't returning no calls to give me no punk-ass food stamps. How the fuck am I supposed to take care of my kids? Because y'all got all the essential shit shut down and all un unnecessary shit open. This shit is stupid, bro. I'm not no worthless-ass bitch, bro. I gotta figure out how to take care of my kids, and I can't do that shit with the whole fucking world closed down, but y'all got fucking dumbass slim chickens open. And fucking... Bro, I've been calling DCF every motherfucking day to try to get some motherfucking food steps. Unemployment ain't doing shit. DCF ain't doing shit. I ain't got no motherfucking job because I want to fire people and then not let motherfucking driver's license place be open and fucking slim chickens are open. God damn! Fucking stressed out to the max, and I ain't even no fucking punk ass car, baby. I just want to know how the fucking slim chicken is essential, but the driver's license place ain't. It don't make no sense to me. How the fucking school not essential, but McDonald's is? I'm fucking sick of this shit. Somebody needs to tag the fucking news, the fucking stupid ass governors. I want to know how the fuck. It's slim chickens essential, but the fucking driver's license place ain't. DCF ain't. I've been calling DCF for a fucking week. <laughs> like, bro, I don't got it like that. I'm fucking stressed out. I got babies I need to take care of, and I can't even go to work because my fucking punk ass ID is expired. Mm, is that so? And these motherfuckers ain't open. You gotta do this shit online, and guess what? That takes 45 days for them to send you an ID, and the fucking people ain't gonna hold my job for 45 fucking days. No job for 45 days, huh? Bro. What y'all wanna say? Be calm, be calm. Bro, fuck this. I'm glad y'all got y'all motherfucking stimulus check, because guess what? I can't, because I got a punk-ass brother who likes to use my kids' as social security numbers, <laughs> and I can't. <laughs> uh, now I know some of you guys you guys are like oh Mr. Tricks a lie you harsh you're cruel you're laughing at a struggling single mother okay you're, you're laughing at a woman who, who is in distress who, 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 who needs some help and you're laughing at her look you guys Okay, I, I'm laughing because that last part was was funny. Okay, 
that her brother is using her kids' social security numbers, and that's why uh, she can't get stimulus credit for her kids. But, you know, I'm not laughing at her situation overall. If anything, you know, if you guys, I know there's going to be some guys who, who absolutely see, feel sorry. There's, there's going to be some guys who feel sorry for her. There's going to be a lot of guys who want to help her. But me, I look at her and I see an opportunity. That's what I see. I see an opportunity. I see, I'm going to tell you guys exactly what I see. Okay, I'm going to point the camera at the floor real fast. I'm in a okay, I'm going to tell you guys exactly what I see. When I see her video. I'm in a bind, Nate. Some other time. I really need this money, Nate. Okay, let's play. I'm again. in a bind, Nate. Some other time. Nate said, so what, you you coming or not? You trying to get this money or not? Look at the look on Nate's face, you guys. Nate is all business, you guys. Nate is ruthless. Nate worked his entire life to get his car lot started, and his broad came up to him asking him for an advance. And he's like, you want to earn this advance or not? Look at that look on his face. And that is the same look, you guys that you need to give to this broad right here. That is the same look. When you see her right here, you guys. Hold on, let me give you guys a clear look at her face. When you see her right, th right here, you guys, you guys need to give her the same look that Nate is giving Stoney, you guys. No mercy. No mercy to a broad like her. You have no food stamps, you have no stimulus, you have no job, and you barely got unemployment. No mercy. This, this dick isn't going to suck itself. BBJ for 60 roses, 80 roses max. This dick is not going to suck itself. That is what I think of her. That is what I think when I see this video, you guys. That's the opportunity that I think of. Okay? And some of you guys... You know what? Let me let me just go to her page real fast. I'm gonna show you guys her page. You know, because a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys would feel sorry for her, and you'd be all like, "Oh man, she needs a lot of help." But look at look at the type of dude she chose. Okay, look at the look at the type of dude that she chose. You guys, you know, she didn't choose a dude who would be a provider because if this dude was a provider, she wouldn't be on social media screaming and crying how she she needs help. But look, this dude got a hat he's got a beard he's got a he's got the dreads he's black chad that's who she chose and look look what this caption says this caption says uh Raul Hawk wife Raul Hawk life i guess that's the dude's last name Raul Hawk wife Raul Hawk life i guess i guess that's the dude's last name Whatever, wh whoever that is, Ralph, you know, so she, she's bragging about him. He's a pookie. And yet she's on social media live crying because she can't provide for her family. And some of you dudes may think, well, Mr. Trixelide, if you if you take advantage of her, that's dumpster diving. That's that's bottom of the barrel diving. Look at her. I want you guys to take a look at her. Most dudes can't get a chick like this to talk to them at all. And when even when most dudes do get a female, uh, most dudes can't even get a female who looks like this with no kids. 
most of these dudes out here that you see who are telling me that I'm um that I'm that I'm doing that I'm dumpster diving for seeking opportunities like this. Most of those dudes who's telling you that I'm dumpster diving, they're out there simping for goddamn Gabby Sidibe. And this chick, let me tell you guys something. She has seven kids, you guys. Probably not all by this loser. But she has seven kids, and this is how she looks. Does she look like a broad with oatmeal, co oatmeal cookie stomach? No. She has a few nasty tats, but she's in shape. I'll take an 80, a 60 to 80 BBJ <coughs> from her. Absolutely. Absolutely. In fact, I met a broad who looked just like her not too long ago, you guys, about like a week or two ago. The broad looked just like her, had one child. Okay? I met her twice. First time, she said, absolutely not. Absolutely no. She will not do the BBJ. Second time, she texted me, telling me that uh, she needed me to come over to her house. I called her and I said, why do I need to come over to your house? And she said, well, I need some food for my son. I said, oh, is that right? And then I told her, and it was a chick, and like I said, you guys, it was a chick who looked just like her. Not her, but look who looked exactly like her, very identical. So I told this broad, okay, well, your son needs to eat. Okay, I understand that, and I can help you. But you have to help me to help you. I need a BBJ. She said, I usually don't do BBJs. Um, I could do it for 120. I said, look, I only got 80. And that's all I got. She thought about it, thought about it. And she said, okay, I'll do it. And I got my BBJ. Now, why do I tell that story again? Why do I tell that story? And, 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 and how does that story relate to her, her video, her screed? about needing help, you guys. How does it relate? You guys, it's Nate season. It's Nate season. It is the time to take advantage of good deals. How do you know if there is a good deal out there? You can definitely tell it's a good deal when you hear a broad like her. If you know a chick like her who's in a similar situation like her, that is a Nate season deal waiting to happen. Just think, you guys, this broad needs, she has no food stamps, barely got unemployment, she has no job and no stimulus checks. You think she wouldn't take 80 for the, uh, uh, to, to do a BBJ? You think she wouldn't take 80? She would jump at the opportunity immediately. And some of you are looking at this dude and you're like, yeah, yeah, but Mr. Trick's like, she got a, she got a husband or she got a, he's not even her husband. He, he, uh, that, that's her fiance. Cause I read her, I read her, uh, profile. That's her fiance. Some of you guys, are, some of you guys are thinking, okay, what about her fiance? He wouldn't feel no way about it. Who the fuck gives a fuck about what he thinks? Who the fuck gives a fuck about what he thinks? He's at the, he can't say shit. He can't say shit. If he wanted input, if he wanted to stop Nate from porking his gal, he should have been worth something. He should have had a job. He should have been a provider, but he's not. The only thing he's good for is being a pookie. He's good for having the dreads, having a beard, having a tat, having the swagged out watch and shoes and everything else, but he's not good for anything else. So who, give, who gives a fuck about what he thinks? Fuck him. I'm focused on her. And some of you may be thinking, yeah, but that's pookie sloppy seconds and leftovers. Can't look at it like that, you guys. You're not trying to marry the bitch. If you meet a chick like her, you, you can't you can't look at her and think, yeah, but you know, she's some other dude's sloppy seconds. You're not trying to marry her and you're not trying to take care of her kids. She's a means to an end. You're trying to get the BBJ or maybe some of you guys would like to take the trip to Greece with her. Okay, I, I might I might even throw that in with a broad like this. Or some of you guys are trying to give her a golden shower. Okay, cool, whatever floats your boat. Whatever you want. 
but you can't get caught up in this whole, oh man, you know, this is pooky sloppy seconds and I'm worthless, blah, blah, blah. No, you can't get caught up in that. Once she shows that she's desperate for money, she's pretty much at your mercy. And this nigga right here can't say nothing. Because he knows that the bill's got to get paid. And even if he finds out that you fucking her or doing whatever to her, he's not going to do anything. He's not going to do anything because the lights are on and food is in the fridge and he's, he's still able to play his PS5. So he's not going to say anything to you. So, yeah, you guys, that's, you know, that video is going viral right now, you guys. And that's what I saw when I saw the video. I saw an opportunity. I saw a neat season special. Where you can capitalize, you guys. And look, here's the rest of her profile. Engage seven children. Apparently, two of them died. Whoever Rose and Angie is. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. But it says right here, she's supposed to be an artist, a model. And she's about polyamory life. So, okay, see, here's the thing about her profile saying poly life. If you're about being polyamorous... Where's the rest of the dudes at to take care of you? Where's the rest of the dudes at to secure you? If you're if you're polyamorous. You see these broads, they they be they be putting all this stuff on social media about how 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 they're about this poly life. They're a model. You know, she she's supposed to have all of these streams of income and they all failed her. During her biggest time of need, you guys, you know, not only is it Nate season, you guys. And let me just let me just clarify what is Nate season. Nate season, you guys, is between Black Friday and a tax filing deadline next year on April the 21st. That is Nate season. So between November the 27th of this year and April the 24th of next year, that is Nate season. And not only is it Nate season. We are at the height of the second wave of the coronavirus. So everything is locked down, just like she said, you guys. Everything is locked down. This is the this is the worst Nate season since since the 2008 crash. And maybe the worst Nate season of all times. If you're if you're going historically since the Great Depression, this is probably the worst Nate season ever. Now and I, look, and I hear from economists it's gonna get even worse. Broads like her, you know, I used to doubt BGS, but broads like her may go for a cup of coffee. He might be right if, if the double dip recession happens. And look at this picture right here, you guys. Look at this picture. Look at this picture right here. Now, I don't want to show the children's face. I'm trying my best not to show their face. I just showed a little bit of their face. But look right here, you guys. This is her pookie right here. This is her. And look at that Christmas tree right there, you guys. Context clues, you guys. Context clues means everything. So not only is she trying to feed this big family, and including her grown-ass kid, who, who's supposed to be her fiancé, but she has to provide a Christmas, you guys. You can get her from for a record-breaking low price. And even though she got seven kids, look at her. She ain't Gabby Sidibe. Her body ain't thrown the hell off. She ain't five foot two, 350 pounds. She looks good to have seven kids, you guys. You can get a very good deal from this broad, you guys. So I just wanted to show you guys that video. And I just wanted to remind you guys that Nate season is here. And that with Nate season being here, you guys, now is not the time to get mushy. Now is not the time to get soft. Now is not the time to start feeling sorry for these broads. It's time to put foot to neck. No mercy. No mercy. When you see a chick like this, you guys, if you know a chick like this personally, that's off the job, of course, not on the job, but off the job. If you know a chick like this personally, and she's talking about she has a lot of bills to pay and everything like that, and she asks you for some money, man, you maybe you don't need to be as forward as I am. Maybe you may say something like, man, shoot, I mean, look, I mean, I can help you, but shoot, you know, um, how about you come by and um, you, can, you can find a way to help me. And she might look at you and say, what? What you mean to help you? Well, I mean, look, I, if you help me help you, then 
look, I'll take care of you. But, you know, I got to I got to get something out of the deal first. You say something like that to her. It may work. It may work. Or if you're like me. Me, I still go online to these online websites. Other guys like to look for streetwalkers like Oh No Osho. Shout out to Oh No Osho. Go check out his channel. But in any one of those type of mediums, whether you're power tricking, like my first example, or where you, whether you're online tricking, which is what I prefer, or you're streetwalker tricker, tricking, just like uh, Oh No Osho, either way, you guys, you, you're going to find an I'm in a bind Nate sort of situation you guys and now it's the time to take advantage of it you guys this dick isn't gonna suck it this, this is what you need to tell these broads too this dick isn't gonna suck itself this dick isn't gonna suck itself and I got 80 in my pocket so you trying to you trying to suck today's dick or not <laughs> make sure you guys like and subscribe to this channel make sure you share this video with other brothers because they need to hear this information and remember you guys if you ain't tricking you ain't trying peace